What are my top five Hank Aaron autographed items that you absolutely have to have in your collection? A little hint, there's gonna be a theme to this video. Stick around, let's find out what's in this list. All right, hey everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Power Sports Memorabilia Show. I am your host, Matt Powers. Thank you again for joining me. I always appreciate it. You guys can visit the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. Or you can also give me a follow over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. So a few weeks ago, I did a video on my top five Willie Mays autographed items that you have to have in your collection. And of course, when you think about Willie Mays, at least I do, I always think about Hank Aaron. And Hank Aaron is just an absolute icon in the baseball memorabilia industry. Let me just run off some stats for you here real quick. 25-time All-Star. That's, that's old. He, did, he was in more All-Star games than many of you have been alive. So uh, it's just incredible. 25 All-Star games. I mean, geez, that is just it's amazing. I didn't even know he played that many years. It's just absolutely incredible. 1957 World Series champion. Uh, 57 NL MVP, and of course, 1985, uh, 1982 Hall of Fame member. And of course, what he's most known for is hitting 755 home runs, which many still consider to be the home run record, but that's a whole nother video, okay? So, obviously, Hank Aaron is something that you want to have in your collection if you are a baseball fan. Uh, what would you get? You know, what should you get? What should you maybe stay away from? Uh, Hank is actually still signing. He just recently did one in 2019, which is quite surprising. Uh, autograph pricing is pretty expensive, though. It looks like it was about 400 bucks for autograph baseballs last I checked. So not too terrible, but not cheap by any means. So, uh, but of course, Hank won't be signing forever, just like all of us, you know. And at the time of this video, he was he's 86 years old. So if you are thinking about getting something for Hank Aaron. Now is the time to do it, okay? So let's just go ahead and jump on into this list. Number five, and this is a dual sign baseball with the guy I just previously mentioned, Mr. Willie Mays. These guys are two of the most important uh, Hall of Famers I think of. Uh, both 500 uh, home run club members, Mays hit 660, and Hank, of course, hit 755. Uh, both played in the Negro Leagues. And Mays just isn't signing anymore, too. Uh, so, you, again, go back and watch that video, too, on the top five autographs that I did for him. Uh, I actually just saw one of these baseballs, dual sign baseball with Hank and Willie, for $350 with JSA Cert. I mean, that is an absolute steal right now. So, if you can find something dual sign with Willie Mays, that is going to be an iconic piece in your collection. Again, Mays is not signing anymore. And uh, Hank is just in a super expensive autograph. I would be surprised if Hank doesn't sign anymore either. So if you can get something dual signed by Mays and Hank, definitely do that. Uh, number four is just a staple for every autograph collector. Is just your standard Major League Baseball. Getting get one of those signed is what every collector absolutely has to have. And here's why autograph baseballs are so uh, perfect for collections. Number one... They're easy to display. Very, very small. All you got to do is get a $2 uh, UV protected case for it and you're good to go. They tend to be on the more affordable autograph side, so they're not premium autographs. Uh, baseballs aren't very expensive to buy. They hold a nice big autograph. And it's what most collectors want in their collection. So it's a very popular item. If you ever need to sell an autographed baseball of Hank Aaron, you should have no problem doing that, assuming you price it right. And, you know, just a standard Major League Baseball, you really can't go wrong with that. It's just it's just something that everybody needs to have in their collection. Number three, and this is the Mitchell and Ness signed throwback jersey, okay? This is not the current style Majestic. You want to get something that uh, Hank actually wore in that kind of similar style. These are very expensive. This is the most expensive item on this list. They're running about $900 or so right now. Uh, make sure you're getting an officially licensed one. Don't get none of that China stuff there. Make sure you get a nice quality jersey. This is Hank Aaron we're talking about here. Okay? This is Hank Aaron. Okay? Get a real jersey. And 
And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just something when you put it up on your wall, Hank Aaron is one of those guys that I really, <laughs> it's really hard to find people who really dislike Hank Aaron. Uh, you know, you, you put him up on your wall, everybody knows that Hank Aaron was the home run king. And again, many still consider him to be the home run king. So having the home run king of baseball on your wall, that just makes sense. Now, of course, $900 is just for the unframed jersey. You're going to have to get it framed on top of that, but that's going to be 300 bucks or so. So $1,200 for a Hank Aaron signed jersey. I mean, that's only going to be going up, up in value. Lots of room for that one. I can see that jersey being $2,000 plus here in the next four or five years. Uh, number two, and this is the only photo on this list, and it's the famous image of him hitting his 715th home run to overtake Babe Ruth as baseball's all-time home run king. Now, I'm usually not a huge fan of photos. I've, you've heard me talk about that before, I, but I do like iconic images. But this happens to be one of my favorite iconic images. For me, it's just it's taken too far back behind a home plate. Um, it just it just doesn't do it for me. I, I don't know why, but again, it's still a very very iconic image in baseball. So if you're looking for a 715 home run shot for for Hank, they're very affordable right now. I just saw some with the JSA cert for 125 for an 8x10. 125 dollars for Hank Aaron. I mean, that's just incredible. And a little side story, too. Ironically, the fence, the part that he actually hit the home run over, is actually still standing. I did not know that. So that's kind of a cool piece of, uh, of knowledge about the 715th home run. But, again, you may really like this image. It's just not for me. But, again, iconic image, probably a top 10 baseball image of all time. So definitely one to add to your collection. And without further ado, number one on this list Again, I said there was going to be a theme to this video, and this one is another autographed baseball, but this one is with the 755 inscription, okay? These are the ones that Hank writes 755 on there. Of course, 755 is for the amount of home runs that he hit, and these are an absolute steal right now. If if I think if I thought I could sell these really, really quick, I would buy all these here. I, just, I don't know if there's much room for me in this, but I think for collectors, for you guys, this is an absolute steal right now. Uh, $350. I just saw one for a JSA cert. Looked like it had a little bit of bleeding to it, which may be the reason for the price. But for that price with the inscription, like, like I just mentioned, Hank was just signing baseballs for $400. That was without the inscription, without the item. So uh, that's an absolute steal right there. I would be picking those up left and right if I was a collector. Again, $350 for a baseball with an inscription for Hank Aaron. That is absolutely iconic. You're getting the best item for collectors, baseballs, and you're getting probably one of the most iconic inscriptions for any player, the 755. So that's my top five list for you guys. I try to keep it real simple. Again, autographed baseballs are always the way to go if you're ever uncertain about what to get for a baseball player. But let me know. Did I leave something off this list? Maybe autographed bats? Maybe something different? Maybe an autographed rookie card? What do you think about that? But uh, let me know, guys, in the comments below. Again, visit the website. You guys can check out all the Hank Aaron stuff I have there at powersportsmemorabilia.com. And also give me a follow over there on Instagram at powersautographs. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you on the next episode.